brave little spark How long you've wandered Burned bright as a star Oh, I have awaited you patiently All this time Past every fate Now sing with me once more Share of your life Far greater than memory Its loss and loved words cannot hold Boundless the tale overflows And carries mortal to see Drop a blessing from heaven's above, and how has time flowed on those waters? Came one streams, rivers, and lakes reaching for the horizon, and far beyond they came.
Not that! Oh goodness. Hold on. What is going on here? Oh, this... something is wrong. Why is it not showing my game? Oh, god. Jeepers, which one is that? No, that's not it. Oh my gosh, there's too many things. Wait, that's it. There! <gasps> it can't start without a problem, can it? Let me turn the music down a wee bit. Well, amazing. We made it. We made it through the entire school semester. I turned in every assignment that I was supposed to turn in. I did all the things. And... Wow. <laughs> I'm exhausted. My field education ended on Wednesday, so that was the last day that I had to go do that. And so now I'm free. I'm free. And uh, we will be coming up with a new schedule for the summer. Um, we will stream at least four days a week um, over the summer, uh, except for when I'm on vacation for a week. Um, I probably won't uh, won't stream then we will probably have community movie night um, or maybe play some community games in uh, in discord so if you're not in the discord channel make sure you join discord um, and that way you can take part in some of our game nights when I'm out of town and because I can't uh, I can't take all of this equipment with me <laughs> to my stepmother's house we're going to be sleeping in her artist studio um, on an air mattress, and I'll have my laptop so that I can do other work, but <laughs> I won't have all my stuff. So, and thank you, Warm Cheese, and hi, Monty. Welcome, everybody. How are you all doing? I hope you are having a good day. I had an amazing day. It was so good. It was so good. I had um, a meeting with the committee on ministry I have to meet with them once a year while I'm in the <laughs> so butsy <laughs> I have to meet the, with them once a year while I'm in the in the discernment process um, for ordination and so uh, I had my meeting my yearly meeting with them today and then I got when I got done with that I wrote two papers real quick <laughs> and submitted them and here we are um, I am ready for the weekend. I am ready for summer. I am just, I am so over it. So, um, one thing that I still am not quite sure of is I want to have some streams that are during the day, um, you know, earlier in the day, like, you know, from noon to five or something like that. And uh, at least once a week, have a stream that's a daytime stream uh, for folks who, um, for whom that time frame works better. Um, and then, you know, three nights a week, probably, um, oh, are you in Australia or something, warm cheese? Where are you? <laughs> I know we used to have daytime streams before things got insanity. Um, you're in Texas. <laughs> it's all, I'm in Georgia and it was in the 90s today here um which is not unusual so uh let's see let's see what it says about the why doesn't it show the weather here there's a... Shh. this is dumb it usually shows the weather where is it oh here we go so right now at 7:20 in the evening it is 91 degrees here so i get it it's all it's all it's gotten warm you're already uh into summer you were complaining about snow not too long ago monty <laughs> we will have some avatar making streams we will have some fun uh i want to do once a week i want to have a community game uh playing stream and um the way that i want to do this is that we'll have one stream a week that is community games where we you know we play 
marbles or geoguesser or i got um i got some jackbox games we can play those uh you know we'll have one night a week or one one stream a week will be games and we can mix up the times um that we do the community game stream but at least once a week we'll have a community game day um we will have oh hey what's that <laughs> oh stream elements <laughs> Hey, it's doing the it's doing a timer. It worked. Yeah, Jackbox. I got I got the first two packs. I got like the original Jackbox pack and the second one, maybe in the third one too. I can't remember now. But you know, got a bunch of them, so they'll be fun. We'll play those. Um, and you know, we can also play some other web-based stuff that um, so that we can spend some time playing together. We could also have a day um, in community game time that we do something together in Final Fantasy as well. Whether it's, you know, we uh, do some kind of group house building decorating project or uh, or otherwise. Um, but we'll do that. We're going to have uh, some giveaways and stuff later in the summer. We're going to do a charity event um, in August. And my friend is setting setting that stuff up and we will uh, be organizing that <laughs> going raiding oh god oh maybe I mean I need to go do the new uh, alliance raids I haven't done them yet so I haven't been able to do anything I have not had I have quests to do you can see look at look at this newfound adventure I haven't even started it yet so um, I gotta do it it has to happen um, I'll get caught up now that things are calmed down. Probably take it a little easy this week just to get rested. Um, tomorrow, I, I'm i going to put together the Zaku tomorrow. The Hello Kitty Zaku. Um, but I, I, it might not happen until, you know, after noontime because I'm going to sleep in tomorrow. I'm going to sleep until I wake up without an alarm <laughs> and it'll be like a, the, a blessing you know I looked at my Fitbit thing today and all this week I got less than six hours of sleep a night because of school stuff so I'm ready I'm ready to just you know to just sleep in without an alarm waking me so that's the plan but tomorrow we will do we will put together the hello kitty zaku on stream that'll be it'll be fun um so we're gonna do that my little bandai kit and i have two um two pokemon bandai kits as well that are just little quick and easy ones so we'll put those together as well and you know some other things that we can do this summer is i have a i have a cricket machine you know i have a cricket and i bought some really cool um, cut paper like layered cut paper things from an artist in uh, in Ukraine it was you know they were having a sale to benefit people in Ukraine and so um, I bought some of these digital files from uh, a couple different companies and so we will do some of those we'll go through the whole process of you know laying it out with on the Cricut machine uh, doing the mats and uh, cutting it and then assembling it with the glue pen and um, so that'll be fun too I do all kinds of crafty things heck if you all want to watch me knit I do that too <laughs> um, but you know it'll be it'll be a fun summer you just finished the MSQ today too oh I, I gotta I gotta get caught up I feel so far behind at this point but so our plan tonight tonight's plan we're gonna have some fun go look at some houses um, do our normal thing I should have seen Lalafell have a fist fight with Xenos oh did you get to that part of the story Monty oh I was so upset Oh my god I was like I was exhausted it was late at night and I had gotten I got to that part 
you know, like did the thing. And I'm like, oh, thank God. Finally got to the end. And then there's freaking Xenos. <laughs> I was just like, you're kidding, right? Not this guy again. <laughs> but that's just the way it goes. And so, yeah, had to beat Xenos up uh, once again, once again. You know, it's like a never-ending battle with this guy. Hopefully he doesn't come back again. Hopefully he's down for good this time. All right. Um, so the stream elements thing, it keeps spamming this, and I'm going to have to fix that. It's going to keep spamming that. I apologize. I'll change the timer. Um, I need to set up timers for other things as well. Uh, you know, like to put the Discord link in the channel and stuff like that. Um, I was just working on stuff the other day in my free time. Um, but I do have some merch out there now. If anyone is interested, I um, the, the picture that is in the about information where my house in, uh, locations are, that little, um, that adorable little picture that Studio Blizz, Liz drew of me signing the guest book with the little demon on my shoulder. <laughs> um, that picture, I put it on a mug. And so that picture is on the front of the mug and on the back it just says so cute. Um, so it's a really cute mug. <laughs> if anybody is interested, you get a discount if you are a subscriber. Um, I think it's like a 10% discount for a tier one sub, something like that. Um, just a little discount. But, you know, I'll have some other things like that up. I have an artist working on new banner art for the page um so we should get that on let's see it should be done on sunday so uh we will have new banner art for the channel um and it's so cute the little sketch that she did is so is so cute so far um it's got you know the little dodo minion it's got a moogle house a chocobo house it's in the lavender beds with the big tree in the back um it's gonna be really sweet it's very very cool um so that'll be coming in this weekend um and uh, you know as i'm able to afford to do stuff like that i will um i will upgrade uh things i did get a there's a new follower emote that everyone can use it's the tribute. It's the tribute I um, emote. <laughs> and so when we raid a channel, um, what we should do is just put that emote and um, and this. <laughs> we'll just do I volunteer as tribute when we go in, when we raid other people's channels. Um, so I think that'll be fun. <laughs> so those are current events. We are caught up, I think, on current events. Uh, so I'm going to head over to Mist 6. I believe that is where we are. I will make sure. I don't think we've been to Mist 6. I'm pretty sure we've only done the sixth ward of the goblet. So here we are in Limsa. Let's see what's happening here. Go to the specified ward. I am still congested from that stupid cold. It's just dumb. Let's see. Secret tunnel? No, we haven't seen that. The Wa Wagrun Shrine? Nope. Okay, so we have not been here. I definitely haven't seen these things. Rigby Yadigby. I would remember that. The studium. All right. Well, off we go to Ward 6 of Mist. I've got tea tonight. I've got good tea. I got some PG Tips um, tea bags, which are really quite yummy. Very good tea. All right. So here we are in Mist. Let's see what's happening in this zone. Uh, plot one and two are not open. They are closed. So we will have to 
pick something different. We'll have to go to number three. Where's three? Three is right there. Okay. Let me do something here real quick. I just want to get my um, I'm gonna get my Twitch stream manager up. There we go. All right. So let's see. We're gonna go to plot three. That'll be our first stop. Oh, and it's this little house right here, I believe. Yeah. All right, so here we are. First house of the summer. Let's hope it's a good one. This is the secret tunnel, question mark. <laughs> the, owner is, the owner is Seema Laurent. Um, there's no greeting, no tags. You know, we'll just have to We'll just have to chance it and try to, I know, seriously, kind of scared. We'll find out if it's, if it's spooky or what. We'll see what's happening here. We got this, uh, the Sturm doll out here in their yard. Doesn't bode well. Let's see. Gosh, I'm going to sneeze. Good. I wish this cold would just go away. Ugh. Whoa, what the heck? Oh, oh, oh my goodness. What, what's going on here? This is too cool. They just use a lot of waterfalls and lily lamps. There's their guest book. Tree stump table. It's a, oh look, that. I love this. All right, let's go up the steps. Steps made from Riviera wall shelves. Here we are in a little little secret bedroom upstairs. Oh, this is so nice. Look, look at that. Ooh, I love it. There's their chandelier. That's awesome. They got the um, you know little marble alcove bed floated up here. They floated up the indoor pond, and those are just I think that's just a half partition there. And you know they put the waterfalls and a verdant partition around the chandelier to make that cool little uh, garden area. That's awesome. I love it. And here's fish tank over here and another bed there so two beds up above the secret tunnel oh this is so cool I bet this looks nice in the daytime when um, you know these skylights are lit up what time is it uh, 6 36 p.m. the Sun just went down darn it Let's check out the downstairs. This is super cool. I love it. So creative. All right. Downstairs. More verdant partitions. Little wall lamp. Oh, look at... Look. They made... It's like a... It's like a little... It's like these little bridges made out of planks, right? But they're made out of Riviera wall shelves. That's so many shelves. Look at that. Oh man, this is so cool. <gasps> I I love it. There's the bar. We got a back bar. We got some bread. We got some pastries. You know, sit here. Listen to the birds. This is this is super amazing. Those bridges took a lot of work. Some oriental tubs, and I believe that there. Yep, there's a fish uh, fish pond underneath there. So there's a fish pond under here, with these waterfalls here. There's another one over here, or two more over here. And 
There's some waterfalls that have been floated. This is awesome. Pretty nice for our first house of the summer. Look at this. I'm gonna go back here. There's the, whoa, I'm in the wall. There's waterfalls, but look at the, the waterfalls over there. It's just, you know, cool. Really cool. They did a nice job. This bodes well for the summer. <gasps> Whoa! I hit the wrong button there. And I did the crazy face. And that's the angry face. That's the smiling face. There we go. All right. Secret tunnel. Awesome. I hope their book isn't full. Oh, it's it's not. This is amazing. I am in awe of the sheer number of waterfalls and Riviera wall shelves. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Stop making that face. What in the heck? I didn't even hit the button. This is the mug reference. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> this house is so cute. Oh my God. All right. Live streamed my visit at twitch.tv for slash cat miss evergreens. Join us. One of us. One of us. There we go. All right. Leaving the message. Message left. We are going to spread so much happiness this summer. That's the plan. Just to spread a whole lot of happiness around all summer long. Have as much fun as possible. So I actually, I had a degree audit done and I only need to take nine credits in the fall and then 12 credits in spring and I'm done and I'll graduate. So two more semesters left. I can make it. Oh, I'm going to get a cough drop and I got to, I got to let the dog in. I don't know where she is. Hold on a second. Cough drop, you can't have this. This one's not for you. You had green beans. You had green beans. Oh yeah, so the other thing that I'm gonna get fixed up this week, I will fix it this week, is I'm gonna fix the, the nanner cam so we can put um, Nana on on camera for you all again. So I will get that fixed as well. Oh hey Faye, welcome. I hope that you are having a good day. I'm doing all right. How are you doing? How is everybody? Does anyone want to check in? Does anyone need to have a check in? Because we can take a moment if someone needs to have a check in. I want to check in on you all. If anyone has things they need to vent. Let's see. We're going to go down here to house number four, which is this one here. Oh gosh, guys, I am so excited about the um the new walls that we can get from uh you know the Ishgard housing walls some of them are really cool just you know they're standard walls this is one I believe you can have a Tudor house and you don't have to buy the crazy expensive um half timbered walls 
So maybe we'll see some out here. Nice yard. A, those walls make this place look enormous. It looks huge. I like the fence too. Check it out. It's got a cage on the corner. That's crazy. Whoops. I'm stuck. All right, let's go check out the inside. Wait, did we look at the, did we look at the placard? I didn't, I'm losing my mind. It was such a busy day, oh my gosh. But you know, here we are, we made it to summer. We made it to summer. Let's take a look at this placard. I don't think I looked at it. This is the Wagrun Shrine. The owner is the Kraken Club. This is a free company house. Their free company tag is Kraken. And it says, Welcome to Vanadiel. All right. Well, we're going to go check it out. Let's go on inside. Whoops. I'm super fast. There we go. Mog seat. Oh, I like what they did here with this table. Stick the thing in there. Kind of looks like it's just a, you know, like a marble cutting board or something sitting on the table. This house might be a work in progress. They've got some random things. Loft. Random, um, random... <laughs> wooden beam double fireplace always useful let's see what's going on upstairs little library on one side crafting stations and some food over here oh god someone forgot to turn off the alarm This house is a work in progress. Oh my gosh. Yes. That will be a mug. <laughs> That's a good suggestion. I will put that on the list. Chocobo. Ch it should be just like an empty room with, you know, like a giant beaver burger sitting in the middle and just says this house is a work in progress. <laughs> Yeah, they're they're working on this. They're still working on this. I'm pretty sure the Tubs down here Got a seating module Let's take a look and see if they have any free company rooms It might just be holiday storage. It could be. That's true. Let's see. Specify private chambers. There's only two rooms to look at. Private chambers number one is owned by Greg Crow. I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little weird tonight. I'm just still just, you know, this cold is still kicking my butt. So much congestion. This room is a work in progress. They've got a crafting station. So they're started. They've started. There it is. They have to craft everything at the station to fill the rest of the room. All right. <laughs> Onward we go. Next. This is Acapulco. Acapulco, apparently. Let's go. It's vacation time. It says, shoes off, please. The owner is Algeri. Algeri? Algeri. I don't know. Is that a name? That's two names that are supposed to be one name. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that this is actually. 
I'll I'll make sure to take drinks, Monty. Don't don't waste your points. I'll I'll hydrate. Yeah, exa exactly. Like S. Tonberry. That's right. That took me so long to. F I never did figure it out, actually. I never figured it out because apparently I am the dumbest smart person in the room. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, I'm also getting a new logo made. Um, the one that I have on those mugs, you know, I'll keep those up there uh, just because it's kind of a cute little logo. It's the one that's on the, the you know, the stream starting screen. But um, it's just not very good f on t-shirts and stuff. Like the, the graphic that I was given was just not high res enough um, to use on t-shirts and whatnots. So I should have a new logo that we can put on t-shirts and other things like that. If anybody would want to wear a t-shirt that says house cat on it, I don't know, you know. Y'all are some weird people, so I don't know, maybe someone would. <laughs> Weird people who come and hang out and watch me roam around in the neighborhood here, breaking into houses. The best kind of strange folk. All right, so let's see. Here we are at plot five. Oh yeah, in the in the the new image, you're stealing ideas. Not weird. That's true. That's what we're all doing here. We are. We're we're. For stealing people's housing ideas you know and even if their house isn't all the way decorated sometimes there'll be something sitting in a corner um, that we really like and you know I have an idea for a uh, build it stream I'd like to do one that's just on clutter you know on different ways to do clutter you know how to how to turn a corner into like a cozy nook using um, you know, minimal furniture and just some, some basic clutter techniques. Uh, so I'm going to be doing some research, uh, to be able to do that. I'll, I'll be like trolling housing and, um, marking down some ideas. So that'll be something, you know, if you want to like spice up a room, um, we'll, we'll do something like that. So here we are at the den of thieves. It's so funny. You're talking about stealing ideas, Monty, and look at the next house we get to. The Den of Thieves. Perfect. This is how my life works. <laughs> it never fails. It really doesn't. The owner is the Phantom Thieves. They're free company. Their tag is Phantom. F-P- or P-H-N-T-M. And, um, and it says that they'll steal our heart. So we're going to go in and steal their ideas. And at the same time, they're going to steal our heart. Is that what it is? Persona 5. I haven't played those. I haven't played those. Anyways, here we are. <laughs> so guys, it was so hilarious. Okay, so I know I mentioned to you all about some of the issues that I was having at my field education site, right? Um, one of the clergy people, you know, she wasn't the head priest or anything, but you know, one of the clergy was being really kind of not very nice to me. And, um, you know, when I had to take one day off uh, because I was sick, you know, they, they like called me into a room and sat me down and talked to me about, you know, needing to take take time for self-care and um and am I really gonna be able to do this job of being a, a pastor if you know with my health condition because I took a single day off you know in six months and it was just infuriating you know the amount of emotional labor that people with chronic health conditions have to do to justify taking time off without you know people getting you know just bizarrely up in your shit about it it's just 
it's really it's infuriating it's it's so and discouraging but anyway this person has been openly hostile to me the two times i've asked for a day off and sit you know i've been there for nine months and i took two sundays off the entire time and gave them you know 15 hours of work a week and you know they thought I was going to work till the end of the month for them for free and that wasn't happening because my contract ended on Wednesday and so the day after that I went in and cleaned out my office and uh, you know just packed everything in my car said goodbye to people and uh, drive down the street and there in front of me the car in front of me had a whole bunch of hippie stickers on their window and one of them said ride the wave and then the other said let that shit go <laughs> and I was just like okay I'm ready I'm ready just gonna let it go so let's go on in here and see what these thieves have got going on in their house all Katniss hippie stickers yes I have on my car I have uh I have the Final Fantasy 14 meteor you know the you know the the meteor for like a quest you know the main scenario quest this this one this meteor right here just the red part without the feet in the middle I have that on my car I have um oh, <laughs> oh yeah there's the the v go vegan go vegan sticker um so I got I have that on my car I have a little sticker that's like uh, it's a chocobo with a little moogle sitting on its back so I've got that on my window of my car and I have a Grateful Dead sticker you know the steal your face um, skull with the lightning bolt but it's tie-dye so I've got that and I have one of the Grateful Dead dancing bears on my window tube it's a pink one and it's very cute <laughs> And then I have like some churchy stickers too because I'm a weirdo <laughs> I'm like I don't know I'm just I'm just a strange one here we are this is a large plot so we get to look at a big house they've used a bunch of the new furniture in here Let's go over on this side first. It's the kitchen. Oh, big house. You can have so much space. You can just have like space between tables that people can actually walk in and not get stuck. And you can have a massive kitchen with tons of counter space. more tables on this side very big big kitchen it's nice it's weird it's weird to be in these big spaces I'm just not sure how to deal with this look at this nice living room you know it's like a spacious living room area with a rug that you can see just a nice little display case that looks good this is classy. Bookshelves. They've gone somewhat minimalist with the decorating, but you know, there is nothing wrong with that. Let's go on up here and go to the right and see what's happening in this part of the house. This house is a work in progress. <laughs> it's a work in progress, apparently. I wonder if they've gotten this side done. We get to enter the, the lottery again soon. Six days. Six more days and then we can enter the lottery. And may the odds be ever in our favor.
All right. Let's go downstairs and see if they've done the downstairs of the house yet. I like their choice of walls and floors. It looks good with this unfinished wood floor up here. Uh, seriously. Nope, it's not done. But, you know, if you can come down in your basement all alone on a Sunday afternoon and take out all of your frustrations by punching Greg in the face, you know, it doesn't get better than that. You don't need anything else down here. That's all that's needed. I mean, maybe the basketball hoop thing, but, you know, I would be satisfied with just punching Greg. All right, let's see if they have any free company rooms. Maybe after this next round of uh, of the housing lottery, we'll check the status of Empyrean wards to see um, how many houses they've got, you know, to see if the wards are kind of filling in. Um, they're still pretty empty right now, so it's not really worth putting them in the rotation, I think, because we just have to go back again. So we will also check on that in the coming weeks here. Um, they have a few. They have a few rooms. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven rooms to look at. Let's see what we got here. Private Chambers number one is owned by Wolfric Elfwood. Or Elwood. No greeting or anything. We'll see. They've done a little decorating. They've got a kotatsu table. So at least they're, you know, they can warm up when it's cold. And a futon. This is a minimal Asian bedroom. Next. Let's see what's next. The shot and glass. The owner is Jalamoru Rel. And it says, no mounts, pistols only, final Desta 14. It's an immersive experience. A tavern and visitors are welcome. All right, well, let's, you know, let's go check it out. Jalamoru Rel's room. Let's see what they've got. Okay. It's a cafe. There's their guest book. Not suspicious at all. Little kitchen with the best stove. I mean, I, you know, I really should, um, I should do another kitchen with this stove again because I love this stove. I think it's the best one. I don't know why I keep using that stupid Southern kitchen. Probably because I have it. <laughs> But I'm so bored with it. We need new kitchen stuff. Tea. Oh, there's a new emote on the Mog Station. And I, I think it's, you know, you drink tea. So, so I, I wonder if they're, if it's like, you know, spilling the tea. I might have to get this one. Merlewib. Let's sign their guest book. Your buddy got you. Is it? Is it just drink tea? Nicely done. Love the tavern. Oh my gosh! Why do you keep making that face? Ugh. I'm gonna have to turn off the two sips. All right. Cool. I'm going to have to get that one. You know, we'll, we're going to do some giveaways of Mog Station items this summer. That's one of the things I have planned. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to purchase a few, um, you know, some housing stuff. Um, like some of the nice little food items and some of the other housing stuff. So we'll have some of those things to give away. 
to people over the summer as incentives. You know, maybe we'll do it during our charity event. So let's see here. Love the tavern. Nicely done. Very cute upstairs tea room. There we go. So cute. So cute. <laughs> All right. Onward we go. Next room. Whoops. Let's see. So we are here. Private Chambers number five is owned by Athena Goodcat. Well, I like her name. It's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. Oops, I didn't mean to leave. I meant to go to the next room. Let's see, so that was Athena Goodcat's room. Private Chambers number nine is owned by Dash San. No tags or anything. We'll just have to see. Minimalist, it's minimalist room design. Next. Private Chambers 11 is owned by Ozzy Pinamane or Pine Mane. Pine Mane. I don't know. I'm not sure how to pronounce that name. Someone will probably clip this. Me mispronouncing the name again. Because <laughs> someone keeps doing that. <laughs> All right. So here we are. This is a cute room. Got some windows there with some curtains, little table, cabinet, fireplace, and a nice fluffy rug and a chair. Orange tree and lamp, some books. Let's see. There's the office. And this is probably either bedroom or, yeah, bedroom. Oh, they must be a, a grad student too. Look at that. I feel sorry for them. <laughs> Rage against the book pile. All right, onward we go. Let's go to the next uh, next room because we are in Ozzy Pine Main's room. Robin's Chambers, the owner is Robin Sawyer. It says, you know what to do, so do it with style. It's an immersive experience in a library. Let's go check out Robin's room. All right, cute room, cute room. We just got some books. It's a library. It's the librarian's desk. You can sleep in this library, apparently. Um, I don't know about you all, but the stuff that I have to read for school, sometimes, like, if I try to lay in bed and read my school books, I will just fall asleep. It's just, you know, I have to, like, be sitting up with bright lights on and well caffeinated and possibly have something to do with my hands um, to keep me busy and so I don't I don't doze off because sometimes this stuff is so boring. Academic stuff is so boring. All right, so we are in Robin Sawyer's room. Next room, one more. This is Cow's High Winds room, and uh, no greeting or anything. So let's just check it out. It's just a cute little room. Just a cute little room. The bench by a fire. Some food. Books and a table. Chairs. All right. We've seen. We came. We saw. Onward we go. Did they have a guest book here? I think they do. 
Theology 501, what a snoozer. <laughs> oh, man. You know, they try. They really try. My actually, you know, okay. So my theology professor, oh, my favorite professor at my university, she's leaving. This was her last semester. She's going to a different school. And she was the most amazing teacher. She made uh, theology classes fun. You know, she really did. She made, she was, she was like the New Testament scholar. So it was like the New Testament classes. She made it so much fun. Um, and gosh, I hope that the person that they get in to fill her shoes have got some huge feet. Because it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. Love your house. Love your house. Very nice and spacious so far. Please let me know when you finish. I'll come back. Oh my gosh, stop doing that. Yes, I want to leave the message. Of course I want to leave the message. I wouldn't have clicked. All right, onward we go. Next house. All right, so here we are. We are at plot five. We are going to go to six. Six is actually... Um, the plot that my free company house is on in mist. I think. Yep. So here we are. This is Mognet Central. The owner is Moggy Zenith. Um <laughs> Kawaii Desune. Um so cute so cute here we are it's a tavern an eatery and a designer home let's take a look oh they have the new um they have the new hot spring i thought that it had water that came out of the lion's mouth is that something you can turn off and on? Am I imagining things? I thought that this hot spring did stuff. And wasn't just like a still pool. Hmm. I'm going to have to make one so that I can find out. That's the way I roll. That's the way I roll. My husband just said something that I won't say on stream because, you know, we keep it family friendly most of the time. Not really. He just said to me, what's that about? What's that about fucking around and finding out? I'm like, that's just how I roll. That's what we do. We're going to go on in. We're going to go into people's houses and find out. Anyways. I don't know. I thought that this street, this hot spring did stuff. I'm pretty sure I thought it would have a little fountain. I might be wrong. Cute yard. Out here in mist. This is a, one of the nice, the really nice plots in mist. Um, it's early in the morning, so it'll be daytime inside. Um, you know, it's like right here on the beach, right next to the market board. Good plot. Prime location. Let's go on into the house and see what's happening. All right. There's their guest book. Cat people. There's that Moogle thing I gotta get. 
the Moogle Orchestrion. Gotta get it. Nice little kitchen. They got some meat, you know, I swear this meat roasting on a spit indoors just seems so dangerous. That seems like just like such a big flame to have exposed. But you know, I guess it's magic. It just turns by itself. So maybe it like magically doesn't catch things on fire. This is a cozy little nook in the corner here with the, the mog couch and the books and the mellow mog lamp. I like that little corner. That looks nice. Let's go on upstairs. I have a goal to replace my microwave this summer as well. Because as I've mentioned, my microwave is total garbage. <laughs> you need to do the mog so you can get the mog furniture. Oh, I know. It's so cute. The little mog couch is so cute. You can do stuff with it. I've seen people use it to great effect. Not just, you know, on its own. Little vanity. The beautiful flowering bed. Place to have a snack upstairs away from the kitchen tubs oh, that looks here's a look at that well that's kind of cool so um you know here's your bathhouse tubs are back there got a troop stage right we've got riviera wall shelves and zabaton cushions up against the side like little uh individual chairs Little seats. That looks, I like that. That's a good idea. Nicely done. We got a loft with a bunny. All right, let's go check out the downstairs. Well, this downstairs looks quite nice. I love the black Zabaton cushions. They look good dyed dark. And that must be jet black and not soot black. This looks really nice down here. Downstairs. Downstairs is the best part. Let's see. I'm guessing this is a little room here. Oh, look. A little bathroom. sink made out of the empty uh, giant fruit bowl. This looks quite nice down here. I like it. I like it. Sign their guest book. Love your house. The, oh my gosh, I gotta, I gotta turn that off. Every time I use the exclamation point, my character does this. What the heck? That's ridiculous. So nice. Love the light and use of space there we go very good another nice message left today i hope it makes someone's day better i think we all could use as much lifting up as possible these days all right so that was plot six and where is plot seven? Plot seven is not open. Plot eight is up there. 
Up we go. And is, is it here? It is. It's up these stairs. All right. Here we are. Ooh, look. See, this is what I'm talking about. You know, the ish, <coughs> the Ishgard stuff, um, the Ishgard housing stuff. It's nice. The walls and the fences. And, you know, they look pretty cool even outside of Ishgard. Look, it's got snow. It's got snow on the on the bushes in the fence. In the middle of mist, in the middle of Alda, in the desert, in the lavender beds, wherever, in the middle of summer, you can have a snowy uh, brick fence if you want. You can do it. Lala lady waiting for us right at the door. That's a lot of oriental grass and bamboo. I do like that fence though. That's pretty cool. And the walls. Everyone's using the stone walls. I haven't seen anyone using the, um, the wood walls yet, which are the ones I'm interested to see. This looks really nice. They did a kind of a mashup here. They used some of the Hingen windows, and that's one of the Hingen doors. Um, but that's, you know, like the, the Ishgard uh, stone walls. And I'm not sure which roof that is. That might be the composite roof. You got large forge walls and got a deck. Awesome. Awesome. Oh no, I'm like stuck in something here. I'm stuck. I'm inside this table. Oh my goodness. I came in the door and was stuck in the middle of the table. All right. That's one of the hazards of putting stuff too close to your door. There's the guest book. Excellent Monty, as soon as you're, whenever you're done. Just let me know. Just say the word and we'll come take a look. I like that outfit that the little Lala has on. Bish. Merle Wib. Very tall maid. Bright furniture, wow. Oh, they're playing Big Fat Tacos on their orchestrion. I have to turn the music up for you. I'm not sure which song this actually is. I just know that it's Big Fat Tacos. Looks good down here. Book stair bookshelf staircase to nowhere. This giant freaking table. With a whole lot of Riviera suppers. Gosh, you know, I don't know. People in the Riviera can't be living very long if they're eating like a whole ham. And three sausages with a big cup of black coffee. I don't know. It doesn't really look like the healthiest of diets. Okay, so we can go up in the loft. There's nothing up here. This might still be a work in progress, and maybe this is it. This might be done. This might be just the way they want it. I don't know.
I mean, they might have hit their item cap. I'm not sure. I like their choice of colors. I like their big table downstairs. Nice home. Love your color choices. And the big table downstairs. Here we go. Leaving a message. Oh god. I don't know why all of a sudden I'm making that dumb face. But I gotta fix it. That can't go on. Let's see. Uh, no, that's not it. Mission, here we go. No. Uh, why can't I figure out where this setting is that's doing this? This insanity. Oh, here we go. Word to motion. It's only supposed to be on the numpad. Keyboard word, gamepad, MIDI controller, keyboard number zero through nine. Oh, I'll just make it word there. That way, if I want to, I can type in a word and get the, you know, the thing. Like, if I say happy, no, it's not working. No, whatever. Dumb thing. I've got a. I can't get the, the, I usually use a different face capture software, however, their most recent build of animes, it doesn't work, like I cannot import my character into it, so the if I want to use animes, I have to use one of my older models, you know, that doesn't have a tail and, um, and other things, because it just won't, every time I try to open my uh, my file, it crashes. It's so frustrating. All right. But Animes has much better face tracking. You know. I'm kind of sad that I can't use it. Especially since I paid for it, you know? I mean, I paid money for the program and it just keeps crashing and they have not fixed it and I'm not the only person that it's happening to it's like a constant problem for a bunch of people let's see here we go we're going to plot 9 which is this house right here where is their entryway I think it's over here yep there it is alright oh they've got the gate I love it What's that gate? I gotta make that. This is the studium. The owner is Rigby Yadigby. And it says, Cogito Ergo Sum. And uh, I think I, that's like, I think therefore I am, right? Isn't that what that means? Um, they have a message book. It's a library and a venue. Carbuncle garden table and bench. Pretty walls, half timbered walls. They are nice. Very nice. There's our harsh front shrine. This is the first shrine of the night. They've used wall sconces and a wall planter and some flowers. A little instrument on the never ending journey there. Appropriate to put the never ending journey next to harsh front. Louis Swa. Nice. They just used, you know, they used the Riviera, um, the Riviera walls. 
So all of their wood is matching. Painted that door red. Library downstairs. It's a nice little eclectic library. So they've, you know, I think they did a nice job here with the clutter. Couple cute little shelves. Looks good. This looks pretty good. Carbuncle bed. I guess, you know, the librarian has to sleep in the middle of the library. Maybe they don't get many visitors and so they just moved their bed in, you know? It's like, if I'm going to be here, I might as well be here. Nice little bathroom. Looks cute. All right. Oh, there's their guest book. Found it. Love the cozy vibes in the downstairs. Whoops. Very nicely done. Here we go. Another message left. Let's go to the next house. So my daughter-in-law has been has been playing some. I don't know when the last time she was on is. Let's see. Members. She was on yesterday. Maybe she'll get on later. Jalissy Bean. That's my son Drex's wife. she comes to play with me sometimes now that school is over I'll actually get to play with her so let's see we are at that was plot 9 so here is 10 this is La Casa de Alex <laughs> the owner is Alexander Balius and it says welcome please do not burn me down <laughs> we, we would never we would never Never burn anyone's house down. Although, you know, you might not want to have this magically hot tea kettle that close to your house wall. Especially if it's wood. That is some very hot, hot stuff. Very hot stuff. In we go. Whoops. Let's take a look. Ifrit and Behemoth. Cute little ladies' day cake balls. Or is it sushi? I think it might be sushi. I think those are rice balls. I'm not really sure. I can't tell. Right, there's their guest book. They've got the, you know, they still got their snowman out. Why not? Why not? Snowmen can be all year round, right? Magical snowmen. Oh goodness, look. This looks like danger. We're gonna go. It's the library. Oh look, they've got Harshafront and they've got the armor. It's like, you know, like here's his armor. They have stacked up pretty cool they have stacked up these doll shelves look at that it's like a Hubert game maybe we should jump on it oh look there's stuff hiding behind there gems bedroom. I bet there's a bathroom back here. Yep, tub. Cute house. It's so cute. 
I do like I, I do like this strange little thing in the corner with the doll shelves. I like papaya. One of my favorite songs. I don't know why. It's so repetitive and, and it's just like an earworm. Alright, here we go. Let's sign this guest book. Super cute house. Love that collection of doll shelves downstairs. It's like Cubert. If you don't know what Cubert is, you're not anywhere near as old as I am. All right, onward we go. Oh my gosh, look, there's a pile of eggs at the door. We can still escape, it's fine. All right, whoops. So here we are, let's see what's happening. We are at plot 10. Plot 11 is, oh yeah, I know where plot 11 is because that's where my house is. I'm plot 11, down by the Admiral's water spire. So this is plot 11. And it's the love dungeon. <laughs> the owner is sensual therapy, oh my goodness. I hope this is family friendly. Plot 11 in the Sixth Ward of Mist. It says, we don't bite unless you want us to. It's a designer home and visitors are welcome. No biting. No biting. Cute yard. Pink. Pink fence. Pink roof. Cat girl. All right, let's go on inside. Well, this is somehow more, um, like you know, more traditional and less um, massage parlor like than I was expecting. Let's see what's happening in the downstairs. Well, you know, here you go. Dance pole in the middle of the table. And I guess this is the VIP seat. This is a free company house, and let's we'll have to see if they have any rooms. You know, I guess it wouldn't be a love dungeon if there wasn't a picture of Nanamo on the wall. All right, there are some rooms to look at, four of them. Fabulously floral, the owner is Mao Loa. And it says, patricians only. Well, do I look like a plebeian to you? Maybe. Maybe I do. Just a pleb. This, I don't know. Is this, uh, is this a patrician's room? I don't know. Looks a little empty. Looks a little empty to be a patrician's only room. Let's go to the next room. 
garden is owned by Cyril Red, and it says go topless. It's a tavern in a sanctum. Okay, well, let's, uh, I'm going to leave my top on, but we'll go in anyways. It's, it's kind of a garden. They've got some plants and pots. They've got green carpet with flowers. I guess that qualifies as a garden. Next room. This is Casbah. The owner is Kovir, Ru Kovir Rovius. If you ain't gotta go fast, get out. Do I look like Sanic the Hedgehog? Maybe. I looked like a pleb in the last room. Let's see. It's in the living room, little office, bedroom. I like the walls. Cold saucer walls are nice. Well, all right. It's just a cute little bedroom. Just a cute little bedroom. Next room. Next room. Let's see. Odious's art gallery. The owner is Odious Row. And it just says step into my office. Okay, let's whoa. Whoops. Step into Odious's room. It's an office, but it lacks a desk. But you know, when you've got uh, Hildebrand in Nashua, what else do you need? Nothing. Just some trees, apparently. All right. Well, that is all of the rooms in this house. The Love Dungeon. Did they have a guest book? I don't see one. No guest book. No guest book. Dang it. Oh well. Onward we go. Next. Okay, so that was plot eight. Plot twelve is like right over here. It's this one. This is Carbuncle Castle. The owner is the Crusade. Um, it is a free company. Their free company tag is TC. And uh, there's no greeting, no tags. So we'll see what they've got. Cute yard. You know, I mean, so I know I was saying I got to get a new microwave because you know what my microwave does when I try to make popcorn in it. It's so small, like the inside of the microwave is so small that if the bag is not placed exactly precisely in the very center of the little spinning plate, it stops spinning. And then the paper burns and only half of the popcorn inside the, the bag pops. It's so annoying. And if you try to do the small bags of popcorn that fit and will spin they just catch on you know the, the popcorn burns every single time so it is time it will be time soon to get a new a new microwave because um, I can't I can't I can't deal I can't deal I did get an air popper for popcorn too but I need to go to the store and get some popcorn I don't have I just have like a bunch of leftover microwave popcorn in the pantry right now that has to be eaten. So they've got a guest book. It's a very large man guarding the guest book. Let's see what's going on downstairs. Got that big table. Some bookshelves.
it's a cute, cute little house. Oh my gosh, look, what's going on here? It's, it's Bomboko storage and Alpha storage. See if they have any free company rooms. Let's check it out, see what's going on here. They only have two free company rooms. We'll take a look. Private Chambers number one is owned by Vossen Cressreb. No greeting, no tags. Oh my. Bright yellow. Chocobo pillar. It's Chocobo room. Cute. It's cute. It's just a cute little room with some Chocobo furniture, which I really love. I mean, the chairs, I, I use that. I use that chair in my house because it's one of the nicest chairs. Um, but the table is also cool. I love the way it has like this little shelf down here. You can put stuff on it. All right, next. There's one more room to look at. Erilyn's Happy Place is owned by Erilyn Cressreb. It says, greetings lover of puppies, carbuncles, and all things kawaii. We love cute things. That's our, thi that's our thing. For, d for dinner, oh gosh. <laughs> Well, you know, if your food is cute, it's more appetizing. Don't you know anything about hot cuisine? <laughs> this room is full of stuff. Cute stuff. It's got a little uh, mock Google Island. There it is. Got some stuff on a table, carbuncle chair, carbuncle rug. Carbuncle desk. Carbuncle table with a carbuncle. And a carbuncle uh, wardrobe. And clock. Do, they don't have a carbuncle bed though. They do have the carbuncle tub. Lots of toys up here. Cute room. Very cute. Kind of the way things are in Final Fantasy though. I mean, everybody's room is cute just because uh, it's Final Fantasy and Final Fantasy stuff is cute. So that's what you get. You gotta work hard to do classy. You gotta work really hard. <laughs> cute is, is the default setting. A word from the owner. Hello, welcome to the Crusade headquarters. Please enjoy your stay. Super, super cute house. Love it. Nice bedroom also. Enjoyed our visit, our stay there. And we live stream. Come and join us. Become one of the posse. All right. Onward we go. Oops. So let's see, where are we? It's the meme chat by merch today. <laughs> let's see. There's 12. This is where we are. So there's 13 right down there. That's where we're heading. this little house over here I believe. Can I jump? I can. I'm on its roof. Awesome. All right. So here we are. They got the cool little Riviera wall with the planters. 
This is the TFTC estate. And it's... <laughs> This is a free company house. Um, it is owned by Thanks for the Carry. Their free company tag is TFTC. And it says Thanks for the Company Estate. <laughs> Proud to be the world's first Excitatron 6000 clear. Oh. Oh, look. There's somebody here. I'm going to wave. Oh, they're leaving. They let they left. Oh no. Darn. I didn't catch them fast enough. Oh well. Well, we're just gonna, you know, we're just gonna go and do our thing. We're gonna go look it around. Apparently that worked when I typed wave. I did that. <laughs> Alright. I like this, but you know they're going to stop this. They've already said that they're going to um, prevent you from exceeding the bounds of your uh, your plot. So, if you have furniture and items placed outside of your plot now, you may find them um, back inside your plot soon, next time they patch. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to get it in the next patch or not, but they are planning to do that. So just a, a word to the wise. Plan for it. I try to avoid, you know, I mean, we use really minimal glitches. Um, I use minimal glitches when I do my decorating. Um, and I don't like... I don't, I don't do the ones where, you know, stuff is outside of the, the bounding box of my house or, or property. Cause that's just that like borders on, on, um, exploitative. And you know, Yoshi P has even said, you know, he doesn't mind people doing the housing glitches, the ones that are in, you know, the place from storage thing, the, the turn off counter placement thing. That's all good. Floating stuff. Um, using shelves and whatever um, he's fine with that too he doesn't have any plans to change that but he does not want people exceeding the the normal um, bounds of the house and so they're gonna they're gonna fix that so that it, it can't happen anymore Watch your front. Oh, it's a secret bookshelf. Oh, look, they've got the cute little pumpkin flower vase. There's their guest book. Look at those little ghosts. Secret chamber. I wonder what's happening down here. Oh, it's the bar. Oh, look, Alpha's... <laughs> There's our pole dancer. It's Alpha. Nice banquet. I gotta do the Hildebrand quests, too. That's on my list. I don't know why I just thought of that, but I did. Let's see if they've got free company rooms that we can take a look at. Um, they do. They have a few. This is Willow's room. This is Willow Wisp, who was the person that we saw um, up on the fence who teleported away before we could say hello. So their greeting is... Why do they call it an oven when you oven in the cold food and oven out hot eat the food? Um, I don't know, Willow. That's a question for the ages, I guess. It's a haunted house, a sanctum, and a venue, according to the tags. Let's go check it out. Let's check out Willow's room. 
All right. I like their walls. I like, the, you know, I like the brick walls. I, I always like the brick walls. I think that they make it seem like kind of, you know, it's like modern city, urban loft apartment kind of vibe with the brick walls. Cute little sitting area underneath the loft here. Sid. Bookshelves. It's going up in the loft. And they just got the bed up here. Some plants. They missed the laundry basket. I can't talk. My, you know, my place. I can't wait to, like, clean my house. Um, now that school is over, I can, I can actually clean my house. Looking forward to it. I've been so busy that things have gotten out of control. It's gotten away from me. The laundry has piled up. Private Chambers number two is owned by Penny Bella Mushroom. All right. Let's go check out Penny Bella Mushroom's room. Like New York. <laughs> Let's see here. This is a cute room. I like the coral thing. I like the little table with all the, oh, the all little mandragoras, but then there's in the middle, you know, I think maybe they're trying to comfort this poor Perry pool who's got a fork stuck in it. Mushroom chairs. Arch front. I like the blue sky wallpaper. It's very cute. All right. Cute room. Penny Bella Mushroom. I wonder if Penny Bella Mushroom is a Lala Fell. This somehow, this room gives me Lala vibes. <coughs> Let's go on to the next room. Let's see. This is Kat's office. The owner is Harissa West. And it says, come to my space. Come by and see. It's a library and visitor welcome. All right. In we go. Mmm. I like this. This is very cozy. Like the red wallpaper, dark wood, looks nice. So, here's what I was talking about earlier. What I'd like to do, um, a little, uh, a, a stream about, is just um, the art of clutter. So. There are ways to do clutter, and then there are ways to not do clutter in your house to make things look um, to look classy. And I think they did a pretty good job here with the clutter. You know, they did not go overboard with. This. I mean, there's a stack of books here, yes, but there's only one. And then they have it balanced by this little this little um, area here. You know, we've got the bookshelf. We have one nice painting. We've got the candles there. And a few little objects placed around on the shelves. Looks good. It's balanced. Um, they did a nice job with the clutter in this corner too. You know, uh, they got these th their little wall of art here. They have this one poster, um, and then it's just this nice little thing here. So I've seen clutter get way overdone, and then you know places. You know, I understand that sometimes you just don't have enough item budget to do much clutter. But even if you have, like, if you have a house that's, um, you know, done with a pretty elaborate design that leaves you with little um, item budget to have areas of clutter in your house, it it's nice to have 
like one or two little areas where, you know, you have a table with um, some intentionally placed objects that kind of make the house feel more like a house where somebody might live instead of just being a sterile space. So let's see, here we are. Next house is, or next uh, room is private chambers number six owned by Mr. Lovett. Let's go check out Mr. Lovett's room. Mr. Lovett is into the big cats. Big cat chair. Big cat on the other side there. Big cat there. That's about all that's happening in here. Onward we go. Oops. So we are in Mr. Lovett's room. Private chambers number seven is owned by Isula Edge Dancer. So we will go check out Isula Edge Dancer's room. It's just a cute little room. With Paisa swing chair and bed. They need more bookshelves. They have a they have a big mess going on here. Look at that. They must also be a grad student. You know, now that they're at the end of their semester, maybe they'll get another another bookshelf. <laughs> we'll have to see. Let's go to the next room. So, private chambers number eight is owned by Life Partner. It says, please do not look at the corn. Um, I'm a little concerned. Why shouldn't we look at the corn? Where is the corn? I hope it's not, you know, like they didn't make a toilet with corn on it. That would just be wrong. I don't see corn. Do you? Do you see corn? Wait a minute. Oh, look. It's just next to the bed. Why am I not supposed to look at this? I... I don't want to know. I'm not... I'm out of here. I'm out of this room. I'm moving on. I don't... I'm not going to ask any questions. We're going to go to Darkest Mushroom's room is room number nine and it says what if there was an imposter among us <laughs> oh look there's nothing here uh, oh what okay well you know they've got an orchestra on a thing and then you know before you leave just have some of this giant beaver burger all right out we go. Oh no. I got disconnected. What the heck? Oh, I hope my internet's not going... Going wacky on me tonight. It seems to be alright. Let's sigh. Have to log back in. The world is currently full. So, I'm going to have to get us some skins for marbles. I want to get some marble skins. Because um, that will make marbles more fun. I think we'll play some marbles this week coming up. Well, here we are. I'm back in. I'm not sure if they had a guest book. No. I, oh, yeah, they do. There it is. Cute house. Whoops. 
I swear I did not see the corn by the bed. I didn't look. <laughs> Let's do betting on marbles with channel points. Oh, we could. We can do that. I'll have to set that up. We can bet to see who will come in what position. I'll always lose. My marble's always cursed. All right. So here we are. We are at plot 13. Plot 14 is not open. Plot 15 is up there in the corner. So plot 15 is this big house up top. We have to go up these steps to get there. All right. Here we are. Let's take a look at their placard. This is Freaks and Geeks. <laughs> the owner is the Scions of Seed. Um, it is a free company house. Their free company tag is SS. And it says, enter at your own risk. Realm of the Jackasses. Oh my goodness. It's a venue. Visitors are welcome and it's a tavern. All right. Well, Freaks and Geeks, here we come. We're not afraid of anything in Final Fantasy. <laughs> I know, and then, in, you know, the next sentence, you know, all of your friends are dead, and you're running through a tunnel underground, and, um, yeah, that's just how Final Fantasy is. Oh, hey, welcome, Ranch Depressing. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. We're glad you're here. Welcome. All right. So let's go take a look here at Freaks and Geeks house. I like their yard. I think this looks pretty cool. Love all the wisteria. Got a nice cafe walls. They're really nice. We're uh we're just touring through houses in Mist uh 6 tonight and uh planning out our summer of fun. Because <clears throat> today was my last day of school for the semester. Um, my stream has been... I've only been able to stream like one day a week for the last month or so because of school. Um, but now we're going to... We can... We're going to stream at least four days a week for the summer. This house looks awesome. Look at this place. This looks beautiful. I love this. I love the way they did these... Um, you know, it's like little uh, doorways or archways um, made from the these pillars and um, slanted skylights. I've seen people do this before. This looks really cool. Nice little sitting area with some candles. This place looks nice. It looks great. Oh, someone sent me a message in game. Hold on a second here. The house has a cool secret in it. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Oh. Well, I will go back after I finish here. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, we gotta follow. Well, okay. All right. Let's follow... Oh, is there, a, an, is there an elevator? Oh, look. Oh, look. Let's see what's going on up here. We're going to find out what the secret is. Oh, look. Oh, we have to go the other side, I guess. <laughs> around the around the corner here. Oh, yep. Yeah, there's an elevator. Oh, look. Here. Oh, we're in space. 
we're in space. It's Bomboko space. <laughs> They put an elevator in. <laughs> cool. I have seen this before. I have seen, I have seen, we have seen some crazy stuff. We have seen some crazy stuff. Oh, where did everybody go? Cool. Very cool. Oh, I love these. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. I'll send them a message. Oh, wait, where's the. There it is. This house is amazing. It looks beautiful. All right. Let's continue to look around here. So pretty. Look at this. All right. Let me know if you remodel and I will come back. There we go. I will always come visit people's houses. If you, uh, if you have been on stream, if I've been to your house and you change it up, you can come here and uh, and you know just tell me, and we'll come back and take a look. And uh, one of the channel point rewards is also that you can spend channel points and then uh, recommend a house for me to go visit. So if you know of a cool house out there that you would like to have uh, shown on stream, you can, uh, you can always come and uh, spend channel points to pick any house. If it's your own house, like if you're a channel follower um, and you're one of my regulars, I will just come and look at whatever house you want me, you know, your own personal houses, I'll, I'll come and look at them. Oh, hey, welcome, Paladin. Welcome. We're glad you're here. This is so, this house is very nice. Oh, look, this is another secret bookshelf here. This probably goes to the downstairs, doesn't it? Yep. Okay, let me just, let me just take a, one more look around. I love this. I think they did a super job here. This is beautiful. Welcome, welcome, new followers. Welcome to the channel. This house is gorgeous. Look at this beautiful stuff. And that is. Whoa, that's trippy. Look at that thing. I'm getting a little dizzy looking at that thing. <laughs> All right, beautiful and cool secret. Lovely, let's check out the downstairs. Wait, is this a secret bookshelf here too? It is. Oh, that's the, uh, their rooms. Ooh, look at this. Pretty, beautiful downstairs. Look at their beautiful bar. Look at this. Awesome. This is super cool. I don't know what's up with my internet tonight, guys. If I get disconnected, um, it's because something is going on with my internet. Had a couple hiccups here. Hopefully, it doesn't, uh, you know, doesn't go down in the middle of my celebratory end of semester of grad school stream finally get to stream look at this this is cool all right so let's kind of like break down what's going on here so they've got fish pond they've got some a uh, couple waterfalls they have the round paper partition with these hanging lanterns they have the phasmascape behind there it's um, one of the new ones um, so it looks like a little window out little jellyfish lamps with the loft above I don't know if there's I don't think there is no fish tank is there no there's no glass there 
this light effect is just from that chandelier up there. And the fish tank is up here. Okay, so that's how they got that. You get the cool kind of... Almost looks like a glass effect from that. Cool. Fish. Their dancers make lots of money in this place. I wonder if they're taking applications. Nice, nice bar. There's another little dancer's spot back there. This is all very pretty. I love the warm lighting. I like the dark, um, you know, they, the black dye they used on these uh, skylights. I bet this looks cool in the daylight. Bad take. <laughs> I don't, I, I don't know that I would want to dance for, for, you know, I'll tell you what, look. Oh, the emote didn't work. <laughs> it's okay. You know, just think about this for a minute. Those of you who are thinking of being an exotic dancer in a club in Eorzea. So, you know, in the real world, when they throw dollar bills at you, it doesn't hurt. But look, they're throwing gold bars up here. You know, I bet the dancers are up here in their armor. Oh, hey, Penny Bello. Welcome. Welcome. I thought your room was super adorable. I'm pretty sure I mentioned how cute it was, even in the guest book message um, in your house. It was very cute. Super cute. I like, I like all things cute. I actually, one of the things that, one of my little, only things, I don't have much merch or anything like that, but I have a, a mug that just says so cute because it's, you know, it's like the thing I say the most when I'm streaming. All right, let's see if they've got some free company rooms we can take a look at. Wait, I thought it was, where is it? Oh, it's back here, derp. I don't know where I am. I'm just wandering around at random. There it is. Let's see. Uh, they have, oh look, they've got a, there's a fair number of rooms here. Very cool. Here we are in Freaks and Geeks. Room number one is Home Away From Home. The owner is Code Chick. And uh, there's no greeting or anything, but you know, we'll go check it out. We'll see what Code Chick's done in their room. It's empty. It's a work in progress. It's just, you know, it's a work in progress. She's busy coding. Code chick ain't got time to decorate. She's busy being an adult. Let's go to the next room. Private chambers number two is owned by Chronic Vash. There's no greeting. We'll see what Chronic's done in their room. It's just a cute little room. Got some hanging furniture. Got this dangerous bookshelf. They've also been affected by the great IKEA bookshelf shortage of 2020, 2021, and 2022. Pandemic has caused all kinds of uh, bookshelf backup. Cute bathroom. All right, next room. Let's see what's next. And Seed Dojo and Bath. The owner is Scarface Vegeta, or Vegeta, Vegeta. I'm not sure how that last name. What? Vegeta? Oh, oh it's a Dragon Ball thing? Okay, see, I never watched that, so I wouldn't know. But my husband is the ultimate nerd, and he knows all. He knows all this stuff. <laughs> How embarrassing. What, that I haven't watched Dragon Ball? Look. <laughs> My kids watched Dragon Ball. I was busy cooking dinner and, you know, making hot pockets for them while they played video games in that time period of my life. 
Yes, just like Cartman's mom. Oh, the pronunciation. I'm sorry. Someone's going to clip it. Someone will clip it. You know, people seem, someone, there's someone out there who seems to like clipping me, um, mispronouncing names, whatever. If people watch it and they think it's funny, that's fine. You can make fun of me. I got thick skin. <laughs> I have no idea who it is. I'm not sure. I would have to go look. I can't remember. Let's see here. Um, oh, you know what? I need to dump the web captioner transcript because it's overflowing the buffer. There we go. So that should make it look better. I like to make sure that our closed captions work for our hard of hearing friends. All right. This is just business. And, you know, if this were Facebook, there would be some bull bullshit about how your brain is special because you can read that. Because <laughs> only like, you know, three out of uh, ten people can read this just business because they have a special brain or whatever. But, you know, that's fine. This isn't Facebook, thank God. Here we are. Just business. The owner is Oren Glaive says the only reason someone would want to become a pickle would be because they can which they can't wait a minute but um you know rick became a pickle because he could anyways in we go to Oren glaive's room Surprising lack of pickle theme going on in here. I expected I expected something more than no pickles. I don't know if you can even get pickles in this game. Or oh, there's no pickles. There might be some some jar of pickles on one of the the uh, the kitchen cabinet shelf units. Next room. Let's see what's happening in the next room. We need pickles. I love pickles. It's, you know, when I go to Pennsylvania for vacation to visit my family, um, one of the things that I like to do is go out to um, the farmer's markets and to the, the there's a lot of Amish people um, where my family lives up there. And uh, they make the best pickles. Uh, they make the best pickles. And so I will go buy pickles. I'll buy pickled beets. I'll buy jellies and jams and honey from the farmer's markets. And also um, chow chow. If you don't know what Amish chow chow is, it's like, you know the Italian pickled vegetables that you can get at the grocery store it's like giardinera or something like that it's like cauliflower and carrots and red peppers and things like that. it's kind of like that um but Amish they put like they put like little onions and cauliflower and um cucumbers let's see what else is in there watermelon rind corn and carrots and you know basically all of the stuff that they grow um, they put into the chow chow and pickle it and it's just it's really tasty I love it I grew up eating this stuff so it's one of the things that I really look forward to when I go home <laughs> private chambers number five is owned by Drew Blackthorn and it just the greeting just says here be nerds role playing all right I wonder if we're gonna go in here and find a Dungeons and Dragons game going on Uh, totally looks like this is where they would play look this is totally this is totally a Dungeons and Dragons game room look at this is the this is the dungeon master's seat probably cool <laughs> cool cool I'm sorry that Stream Elements keeps spamming, spamming you all about the merch. I gotta fix that. I just added the merch and published the store the other day, and so now it just keeps, you know, 
blabbing about it. It's not that big a deal. There's like a few mugs and a mouse pad there. <laughs> the one mug is super cute, but you know, <laughs> it's not like I have a ton of merch or expect anyone to buy anything. All right, Dungeons and Dragons room. This is Demi's room. The owner is Demi Demetrius, and it says, get out of my swamp. Well, if you don't want people in your swamp, you best lock it up, because otherwise we're gonna go in. This don't look like a swamp. It's green, you know, there's a lot of green here, but it's not really swampy. All right, onward. Let's see, whose room is next? The Garden Nook. The owner is Nazuka Mara. It says remodeled, welcome. It's a designer home. They have a message book in a library. Okay, let's go check out Nazuko's room. Looks like a, a work in progress. Yeah, that might be. Look at this place though. See, okay. So this here, y'all, this is why we do this. This is why we go in every room in every we just go in every room because you just never know what you're gonna find look at that this is so pretty I love this I love this little garden thing that they did here look at that that's the back of a stage panel Really nice, really nice. Let's go up the lofts. Look at this cute little room up here. How pretty. It's a fellow knitter. Beautiful. And there's that chandelier again. That's the second time tonight we've seen it cloud acorns how pretty lovely and I guess you know this is it's just closed off behind there I mean I guess there's not anything happening back here we'll go take a look though oh look it's there's yeah so this is where they floated their bookshelves um, so you get to see behind the scenes kind of how they did this room um, lofts for stairs there's a stage panel there with stuff floated on it these are the banned books <laughs> secret this is the you know the restricted section of the library those are the banned butts Monty <laughs> oh butt spot always right on time let me get out of here let me get out of there okay there we are we're back in the room proper. Anyways, those kind of books. <laughs> this room is awesome. How beautiful. Really, really nicely done. Let's sign their guest book. I adore this room. Whoops, I did not spell that right. This room. It is just lovely. Well done. Nice, really nice room. All right, let's check out the next room. Next, we are in um, Nezukamara's room. The next room is Jean's broom closet. The owner is Ford Mustang, <laughs> and it's a photo studio, it's under renovation. And visitors are welcome. So we'll keep in mind that it's under renovation when we go in. We'll see what we find. Oh, wow. I mean, this doesn't look like it's under renovation. This looks pretty good. Looks like maybe they finished. Look at that cute little kitchen. Oh, gosh. Bombocos floating up there. I mean, are, are they going to cook them? 
is that you know I'm not sure I'm not sure what's happening there maybe I don't want to know I gotta make myself one of these shoe racks I love that thing cute this is adorable look at this Got that factory light there shining down on the desk this is just a low bookshelf that's kind of like stuck in there they got the little candles up there and some plants that's a nice little corner that is a good use of this um, the dorm style bunk bed here this dorm bed you know, you can, you can jump up here. There's their phone. And a bombo. This is cute. It's like, you know, it's like a little dorm room. Adorable. Nice. Look at that. So this is what I was talking about. Here you are. Well done clutter. They did a really nice job with this little tiny room. everybody's favorite song now. This is like everybody's favorite um, song to have playing in their house now. All right. Lovely room. Really lovely room. Let's go to the next room because I did not see I didn't see a guest book anywhere. Let me make sure. Nope. No guest book. Beautiful though. Beautiful room. Onward we go. So we are in Ford Mustang's room. Private Chambers number 13 is owned by As Your Sky Song. It says, get, get away nest to get away from the noise. Go ahead and relax. That sounds nice. Let's get away from the noise. Ooh. Okay. Let's go up. Oh, this looks really nice. Another very nice room in this house. I like the dark theme. It's good that we came in during the daytime. So there's some light coming in those windows. Very cool. Oh, look. Oh, this is a this is so cute. So cute. Here we are. So they used Hingen sideboards and futons to make this little um, to make this little bed, little sleeping area. Looking at the blue moon, very nice, very cool room. No guest book, but I like that little idea. That's cute. Onward we go to the next room. So we are in the getaway nest. Private Chambers number 15 is owned by Yuri Leclerc Row. And uh, there's no greeting or anything. We'll just go see if Yuri has decorated their room. They have another nice room. Quite a lot of nice rooms in this house. All in all, this house has been really, um, has been a very nice. I like that. Everyone's favorite burger meal, the giant beaver burger. Real pretty. Booze and donuts. That's what you need at your desk. They must have just finished school too. They threw all of their books out the window and sat down at their desk with booze and donuts. Cute room. It's a nice little place to sit and relax. Mushroom chair in the corner. That's a sin. What, booze and donuts? Oh, coffee. Coffee only. Well, you know, maybe these are actually syrups 
You know, I mean, like, that looks like maybe, you know, there's some Kahlua there or some Irish cream. Maybe, maybe they went to get coffee. That's why they're not here. Let's not, let's not judge. Let's not judge. <laughs> They've got a little open space here and maybe they intend to keep it that way or maybe they're still working on this room. I don't know. I like it though. I think that they have a, done a nice job so far. Let's go to the next room. I'm actually not drinking coffee. I am drinking tea, but I'm drinking out of one of my new coffee mugs. It's, it's my Easter mug. Is booze and donuts a thing? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, for some people, I would suspect it probably is. Someone out there is a booze and donut person. You know, if you can think it, it exists. But I'm drinking tea out of I'm drinking tea out of my Easter mug, mug, which is um, it's got Jesus on it, like ascending into the heavens with his arms raised, and above his head it says "Yeet." <laughs> So he's just, you know, yeeting right up to heaven. That's what happens on Easter. It's the yeet holiday. I can't do booze either. I don't, I don't drink and I rarely eat donuts, you know, because if I eat donuts, I always feel terrible afterwards. It's too much sugar. I ate some cinnamon rolls, you know, like I, my husband loves the little Pillsbury cinnamon rolls. So I get those for him. And I made some last night and I ate a couple of them and oh, and I was full of don't I was full of cinnamon rolls and regret when I ate them. This is the lame room. The owner is Mika well, let me see. Mikazuki It's Itska. Mikazuki Itska. And the greeting just says whack. Um I wonder if their room is whack. It's the lame room. Oh, no, look. It's empty. It's lame. They weren't lying. This time it was accurate. Sometimes it's deceptive advertising on the room greeting, but that time it wasn't. Room number 21 is owned by Lawrence Redman and it's Neohira. So let's go. Uh, it's a tavern. We'll go see. This is the last room in this house in Freaks and Geeks. It's not done unless, I mean, you know, I mean, the lamp is its own thing, but you know, it looks like it's a work in progress because they have a waterfall in the corner. You know, maybe they'll join the channel and let us know when they finish and we'll come back because that's what we do. We always come back if people want us to come revisit their house. All right. Um, beautiful. This house. Beautiful. Really 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 super cool nice job freaks and geeks this house is awesome this house is absolutely smashing love it your neighbor showed us the secret <laughs> you stood on a drawing pin? <laughs> this house is beautiful. I mean, I really love this. How did you stand on a drawing pin? Yeah, it's beauty. This is beautiful. Lovely. You didn't see it? Oh gosh. Are you okay? Are you bleeding? Take care of it. Make sure you clean it well. This is the mom. Mom voice. Make sure you clean it. Put some antibiotic on it. Alright. So... That was Freaks and Geeks. What an awesome house. I am going to take a break for just a couple minutes. 
I'm going to go to the restroom and I'm going to get my nighttime meds. This is your reminder to take your evening meds, folks. If you have meds, you got to take. It's 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Go get a drink. Get your pills. Do it. <laughs> You're okay. Already sorted. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. <laughs> That's always fun. It's always fun to hurt yourself and then make a mess because you hurt yourself and then have to clean up the mess while you're hurt. Oh. Oh. What did you order? Did you order something yummy? I hope that you ordered something extra yummy to make up for it. To make up for the, the loss of your original dinner. All right. I will be back in just a few minutes. I am going to go uh, refill my tea and uh, and get my meds. Chinese food. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Oh, spicy wings. All right. Excellent. Dinner on the way. The day will be saved and I will be right back. I'm just trying to spread some some happiness out here in the world <laughs> by being nosy. <laughs> See, where are we? I wonder if we can go down here to 26. We were in that one already. We were here, right? Oh no, we won't. We weren't here. <laughs> So this is a uh, new home. Owner is Karen. Is it Karen? This is Karen's house. Please don't tell anyone how I live. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I play too much. <laughs> I play far too much. I probably should have been doing other things when I got that. This is Kylo Ren's sister. Maybe so. Let's see what's going on inside Karen's house. Oh, there's nothing in here. Oh, except for this. Just the big beaver burger. Poor Karen. It's no wonder she's complaining at the Costco. You know? <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> that was wrong. That was wrong of me. I shouldn't have done that. All right. Well, we'll have to find another one to go to. Because there's nothing to see here. Move along. <laughs> uh, Shiragane. Let's take a look around here before we start breaking and entering. Um, it's a really pretty housing district. It's beautiful. They have a beach. It's not quite as nice a beach as Mist. I mean, you can go swimming here. You can swim out. I don't know how far out you can swim. Let's find out. I haven't done this before. It's Weeaboo Mist. <laughs> oh, you can't swim very far. You get stuck right here. So that's about as far as you can go. Um. So, yeah, you can't swim out very far, but it's pretty. They've got boats. They've got a little dock here. They've got, you know, some, some kind of stuff going on. It's pretty. Everything's, you know very much in the Japanese style here. It's it's very beautiful. Um, look at that. We'll have to check out that uh, Kugane Castle. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Oh, look, they've got a little place here where you can come on the beach to hang out if you want to. Come down here and have a party with your friends. Check out that guy's speedo. Whoa. 
why is there light shining there in that spot that's a little strange i gotta say pretty higher girl she looks like she would just love to get away from this guy look at her face i can i can hear what's in her head it's like oh my god if this guy mansplains one more thing to me look at him he won't stop he just keeps talking and gesticulating and waving his arms he's been doing this for three years now Poor thing. I'll pray for you, honey. That's a All right, I am back. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see. All right. Well, here we are. We are at. Let's see. We were at plot. Which plot were we at? This is 15. So 16 is down here. So one of the other things I'll do is um, over the summer now, um, what I used to do back in the day when I had time is after I would do house tours, I would um, break the videos out into um you know some highlights i would break out the houses into their own little highlight video and i'll have more time to do some stuff like that over the summer um so you know i'll try to get some of those done i just haven't had chance to do it lately um so i'm kind of looking forward to that because i, I also want to make a new intermission video um because that one's you know I mean, it's great for people who are new to the channel who've never seen it, but most of you guys have seen it too many times now. All right, so plot number 16 is this house right here. Private Estate 616 is owned by Glor Gasso and uh, Haji Memash Memashite. I have no idea. It is funny. It's funny. Um... And hopefully, you know, I can uh, uh, just, you know, add some new stuff to it. Add some new stuff to it. Let's see where we are. I like this little yard. I like their pond and bridge. They've got a nice view of the of this little end of mist here. Whoops, I can't get up on this. I can't get up on their fence. I'm short. I can't jump high enough. All right, let's take a look inside the house. See what's going on. Cool. This is a cool little house. All right. So here is their kitchen. They've used both, you know, the step kitchen and the southern kitchen. They got the, uh, I think that's the armorer's forge. You know, you could probably make use of this armorer's forge and kind of use it to build like a stove behind a wall with part of it sticking out through stage panel or something. I don't know. I don't, I haven't made this one, so I don't have this item, um, but I might make one just so I can play around with it. Cute little area with some stuff. Got their adventurers pack, 2B and 9S. Let's go up in their loft. Got a fish tank up here with a giant shark. Oh, the poor little Perry fool. S fork stuck in his head forever. And he's just crying. So the wall looks cool. Let's go in the downstairs and see what's going on. 
I really need to see if I can't make animes work for me. I'm so upset because, you know, I don't really like the face tracking software that I'm using as much. It just doesn't seem, it's not as animated, it's not as, you know, I don't know, my face just seems kind of bleh. It doesn't do as much. It's not as good at tracking my blinking. It doesn't really follow any of my expressions or anything like animes does. So I'll have to work on that. All right. Pretty standard, um, just pretty standard decorating in here. Looks nice though. I like their upstairs here. I really like this little area, their kitchen area, and this wall. That's a very nice, uh, nicely decorated wall there. All their trophies. I don't see a guest book anywhere. On to the next house. All right, so here we are at 16. We're gonna go down here to plot 17. Whoops. There, now we can actually, you know, go fast. What time is it? 9.47. So we will be ending at the normal time tonight that we normally end, you know, around 10 o'clock just because you know I've been up since 6 30 or 6 o'clock this morning actually and I am just wiped out it was a day um, but in the future here streams will go a little bit longer we'll go later we'll go till 11 most nights because uh, I'll be able to sleep in I won't have to wake up at 6 a.m. every day um, I actually for a while here, I won't have to have an alarm clock at all. And even, you know, I think when school starts, even then, I don't have any classes early enough in the day that I'll need to have an alarm clock, except, you know, when I get up to help my husband get off to school. But then I can go back to bed. So, looking forward to being a work at home dog mom again for a while. <laughs> It's the best way to be, and my dog agrees because she she hates being left home alone um, during the day. Nana is very uh, she gets very angsty when I'm gone. She just gave me a look. She's like, "That's right." <laughs> so no more angst for Nana. She'll get to have Mama around, which make her much happier. All right, so here we are at plot 17. This is the Sky Song Boutique. The owner is Azure Sky Song. And we were actually in um, Azure Sky Song's room in the last house. So they are in the Freaks and Geeks. So I expect this to be a pretty nice house. As I recall, Azure Sky Song's room was nice. Um, it says, Welcome to the Sky Song Boutique. Feel free to look around. It's a boutique, a cafe, and they have a message book. So let's go on and take a look. So one of the things that we need to figure out is um, which day of the week would it be best to do a daytime stream? Would Saturday be better done during the daytime or in the evening? Um, maybe I'll put a poll up in Discord or something, um, or we'll do a poll to, on the channel for people to um, to help decide, like you know, what the best times would be um, to do things as I as I revamp the schedule. You know, because I want to make it work for for viewers so that more people can um, catch the stream at a time that works for them. Although a lot of people really, I get a lot of views after the fact. <laughs> you know, by you know a few days from now, it'll there'll be you know 50-ish views on um, on this video. So there's a lot of people who catch us after after stream. Unfortunately, you know, you would think that Twitch would, um, would include 
video views and you know how much time people watch your your vods as part of your metrics for um you know things like unlocking channel emotes and uh, and stuff but they don't they don't they don't use that metric at all which is kind of um you know i don't know kind of weird that it doesn't count for anything This is very cool. It's a boutique. Jewelry and hat. Some shirts and clothes. Dress rack. Look, there's their mannequins. So I've done things with mannequins. To get these mannequins up here, you have to actually float them with a loft or a shelf to get them up there. You can't just, you know, like NPCs, um, like your retainers, you can, um, or these guys, you know, the, the vendors, you can, um, there's a trick to get them up on a surface that's easy, but it doesn't work with mannequins. I tried. And so when I made my, uh, department store Santa, I had to actually float them with a loft. Luckily they don't have to be floated very high. As you can see, you can float them to this height and they'll stay. I think this is probably a dressing room. Yep, there's a dressing room with a bunch of clothes on the floor. Bomboko. There's a lot of bombocos around. I wonder how many are in this place. There's two. Maybe there are secret bombocos. This looks really nice. This is lovely. Look at this down here. Beautiful. You know, they just went with the natural color of the um, of the marble walls. Everyone's favorite ish guardians. Here they are, all three of them. That looks pretty cool. Very nice. More mannequins placed up on a on a Hingen sideboard there. Some rainbow colored flowers. This looks nice. Very, very, very nice. Really pretty. Let's check out up in the loft. Just got some things up here. Got a futon folded up in case guests come extra fabric because this is a boutique and, and I would assume a tailor toys for the children <laughs> really nice very lovely house Azure Sky Song nice boutique I love the mannequins up on the things I think that looks great nice music This all looks very good. Let's see, there's their guest book. Lovely. Gorgeous. Boutique. I love the mannequins. And the wall of Ishgardians downstairs. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Nicely done, Azure Sky Song. I like this house. All right, so we have time for one more house. We have time for one more house. Um, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna take a Benadryl and I'm gonna pass out. I'm gonna take a Benadryl not just because I want to sleep soundly tonight, but also because I am still just like so congested from this stupid cold. So I'm actually I should probably take the Benadryl now so that I will get sleepy. <coughs> Excuse me, <clears throat> and go to bed at a reasonable hour tonight. <laughs> That's the goal. 
And tomorrow, um, I will be doing a daytime stream tomorrow. Um, we'll start earlier in the day because I'm going to put together um, I'm going to put together the Hello Kitty Zaku, the Hello Kitty Gundam Zaku, and um, some of these little Bandai uh, Pokemon kits on stream. And then we will, uh, I'll probably set up marbles and we can play marbles or something like that. Stream Raiders or marbles. I haven't, si I haven't set up Stream Raiders yet. So probably marbles tomorrow while I put stuff together. Well, I will be, I will be here probably, you know, we'll start early afternoon and go into early evening tomorrow. So hopefully, hopefully we'll see you. If not, you know, we'll be thinking of you. We're always glad when you're able to come. And actually, you know what? It's 956. Let's see. What plot did we get to tonight? We made it to 17. So we went through 17 houses. Well, not quite because some of them were closed, but quite a lot of houses and a bunch of rooms so we made good progress on this ward tonight um, and we will pick up at plot 18 no because 18 is close 20 next plot will be 20 next time well, I want to thank everyone I'm so glad that you were all able to come tonight I'm always happy to see you and to spend time with my friends and uh, and tomorrow we'll play some games together, and I'll build some some uh, some Gundam Bandai kits. And uh, you know, maybe tomorrow night we'll play um, we'll play some Jackbox games. That might be fun. I was thinking that Saturday would be a good day to do community games, um, but we can always mix it up if people can't make it on Saturday. And you know, um, you know, we'll do it on another day every once in a while. We'll kind of will kind of shift things around but I will update the skeb the schedule um, on Twitch probably in the morning I'm gonna sit and think about this uh, but it was great to have you all here and I am gonna take this medicine and I'm gonna go get some sleep and I hope that you all are able to get some rest and um, yeah and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for coming. Don't leave. Let's raid someone's channel. Um, when we go into the channel, I've, I added a new emote, follower emote. So we can do, um, we can use this emote. We can do the tribute emote. And we can just do, I volun, whoops, I volunteer as tribute when we get into um, the channel. So that's our chant. That is our that is our raid chant. So let's see who are we gonna raid. Let's see. Let's see who's on. Uh, not these people. Let me take a look at the list. Hold on. I want to see who's on right now. Of my friends. Well. We can go raid, um, you know what, let's raid Hauser, we'll raid Hauser TV's channel, he's one of my new team members, so we'll go to his, and so let's do our chant when we go in, I'm going to set up the raid right now. He's playing Stream Raiders, so uh, if you have a Stream Raiders account and you want to play, He's a fun person to play with. He's really cool. He's got some really cute dogs, too. Y'all will like him.
use it. We got a giveaway up. We're gonna be doing pretty soon. Yeah, I like this. Um, is this someone's house? Is that someone's house? Fourteen. Okay, I, I don't know the Roman numerals. Yeah, I don't know Roman numerals.